Good, good, good to see you. you. Did you did you pause? You. Did you pause for a moment before you said that? Did you say, well, should I say it this way? <laughs> I paused a moment, but maybe not long enough. Who knows? Not, not long enough because I everybody... made the point. It was pretty straightforward. Yeah, you absolutely made the point. Uh, it, help me understand this. Didn't the automakers provide a restructuring plan? Wasn't that the purpose for the hearings this week? What, what did I miss? They didn't provide any plan that's in this legislation. This legislation says we're going to send them $14 billion, and then after that, after the fact, later, they're going to sit down at a table and begin to work out the details with the UAW and others. Again, I think that's clearly putting the cart before the horse. Well, are you prepared to vote against this package? Yes, I think it's a bad deal. Tell me why. And, uh, because I think it's going to doom these companies to failure. Now is the moment. Now is the time to demand fundamental restructuring. And if we don't get it now, I really don't think we ever will to the extent it takes for them to survive. Well, what, what's your course? What should happen to the auto dealers, the automakers? Well, I was on the Senate floor today and said there are alternatives. It isn't this or bust. We can do other things. Specifically, we can tie taxpayer help to nailing down up front some of the fundamental restructuring, lowering labor costs so they're competitive with the Toyotas and Hondas of the world, making sure the bondholders sacrifice and reduce those companies' debt through writing down those bonds and not letting taxpayer dollars inflate bond values to go directly to bondholders. Now, I, I'm confused because if I'm listening to Ron Gettelfinger, who heads up the UAW, what he is suggesting is that the wage gap uh, with the foreign competitors has essentially closed or will over the next couple of years. I, I, is, am I mishearing him? Well, or, or are you not buying it or do you want more? They have made progress over the last five years, but they haven't closed the gap. We basically need to close that gap immediately, and we need to do other things. We need to lower these companies' debt immediately, in part through the bondholders taking a hit. Do you, do you want the automakers that are in trouble here, principally uh, Chrysler and GM, to, to, to go in the bankruptcy chapter? And if so, is it Chapter 11 or Chapter 7? Well, certainly, I don't want them to go under for those jobs to be lost. No one wants that. But maybe another alternative, which I also outlined on the Senate floor today, is a Chapter 11 bankruptcy, but with the government as a full participant, offering at least two things. Number one, guaranteeing the warranties of these companies, putting the full faith and credit of the federal government behind that so consumers, know, consumers will know that will be there. And number two, providing um, a financing for the bankruptcy process. One final question for you, Senator. Some are suggesting that Senate Republicans are, are, are really pushing bankruptcy with the, but the real but not clearly stated goal of uh, essentially eliminating the unions, eliminating the UAW, crushing the UAW. Uh, well, Look, how would you respond to that? I, I don't know anyone who wants these companies to fail, period. We all want them to survive. But to survive, there needs to be truly core fundamental restructuring. And that's going to take real sacrifice from everybody, certainly including the UAW. But, but no one wants to crush anyone. We want to preserve the maximum number of jobs. That's why I'm opposing this plan, because I think this plan is going to eventually maybe put off uh, going under a few months, but eventually lead there. Wow. Senator Vitter, appreciate your time. Thanks, Thanks. very much. Appreciate it.